All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, John, again, I'm going to play some Immaculate Grid. As this episode is brought to you by a race I ran in San Francisco five years ago. Um, but uh, yeah, and also buy my book, Baseball's Most Fun Frivolities. Link will be in the description below. Uh, let's let's get right into it. Uh, I can start sharing here. Yesterday, I, let's see, I, I got a three on the actual grid. That was probably my best score. One of my best. I think I might have gotten a two once. That's that's up there with my best scores ever. And then on this grid number 10, I uh, didn't know. I, I've already forgotten. I think Metzger was his name. Uh, the name of the other San Diego Padre to win a rookie of the year besides Benito Santiago. Um, but I was able to make full lineup ish if you cheat a little bit I, you can call this a, a complete lineup uh schaefer and whitaker more or less played both played second base but schaefer you could argue played a little third base maybe rotate him over there and then you have a full lineup also rivera didn't play a ton of left field but i'm still gonna count him uh let's do this and get right into it Ooh, no no teams fascinating no teams all right, so we've got born outside the U.S. 50 states and D.C., which means Puerto Ricans do work. Um, so like Clemente could work for that top one. It's Hall of Fame. You get All-Star. You got Cy Young. Um, 200 career wins. 200 strikeouts. Born outside 50 states. So this is going to be a pitcher-heavy game. I could just go all pitchers. Really, the only one I can't do, or I, I, the only one I even have the option of doing position players are the, uh, these right hand columns here. Two thousand career strikeouts. I don't have a great feel for that. <laughs> um, two hundred career wins. I have a little bit better feel, but I have messed that up before. I had a Dazzy Vance, who I used yesterday, but I had Dazzy Vance for uh, 200 wins. Turns out he only had 197. Um, yeah, let's see here. How to navigate this one. Where to start, where to go. This is a unique grid. Good on the, uh, on the good folks at Baseball Reference on this one. How about for born outside the U.S., 50 states, and D.C., what about Larry Walker, who's Canadian and was recently inducted in the Hall of Fame? 4%. All right. Uh, let's see. All-star. Cy Young. Oh, you know where this would work? Fergie Jenkins was also Canadian. He takes 4%. Okay. He won the 71 NL Cy Young Award, I believe. I think I've got that right. Um, and Let's see. All-stars. Born outside. So uh, Pedro Martinez will work. Dennis Martinez will certainly work. Ramon Martinez will probably work. Kind of a theme game here. It would very much surprise me if Ramon Martinez was never an all-star. Um, teammates with Chanho Park will probably work. So will um, Hideo Nomo. Quite sure they were all-stars. Very confident in Nomo. Um... Dice K, I think he was an all star. Uh, let's see here. Fernando Valenzuela just has number retired. Congratulations to him. Uh, number 34 for the Dodgers. I think. Do I have that number right? Actually, I, I think that's right, but that's also Dave Stewart's number, which was recently retired. I'm pretty sure I've got that right. Dave Stewart's was funny because he was also 30, uh, he was also, uh, shared 34 with Raleigh Fingers. So the A's have, two retired numbers for the same player. So the Cubs. Cubs actually have Ferguson Jenkins' number retired along with Greg Maddox, both number 31. Uh, none of this is helping me get to get to here, though. Um, 
I know Don Drysdale had like 209 wins. Let's try him up here. Takes 1%. I think guys, so not Dazzy Vance, but what about guys like, I believe Urban Shocker? Pretty sure on Herb Pennick. Um, Epa Rixie. Uh, Jesse Haynes. These are all names of guys that I'm thinking got to 200 wins and are definitely like lower tier Hall of Famers. Um, at least less famous Hall of Famers. And then... Adam Wainwright got to 200 wins in his last start against the Brewers. That one might be a, might be a good one to go with. What about over here? What about if we went... I'm sure he made an all-star team. What about if we went Burt Blylevin? He was born in the Netherlands, and he would have worked for these other categories, but let's go with him here. Because 0.5. Blylevin works everywhere except Cy Young. He never won a Cy Young award. Could have in a couple of those years in the uh, early 70s with the Twins. Uh, let's see, Warren Spawn was, I believe, the second Cy Young Award winner. I think he'll work here. He goes less than one. All-Stars. I'm trying to remember. Hershiser, did he get to... I'll say Hershiser got to... I think he did get there, but barely, like 201, something along those lines. For 2,000 strikeouts. We think of... Um, what about Rube Waddell? He goes less than one, staring at me with those crazy eyes. Um, what about Pud Galvin over here? Just 19th century Hall of Famer. He goes less than one. Look at that glorious mustache. That hat. Oh man, that's a, that's a 19th century ball player. All right, so 200 plus wins. Well, now I have to, I definitely have to make sure I'm in uh, right territory here. I'm trying to think of people. Whitey Ford got there, right? Whitey Ford's win level was surprisingly low when I looked at it, but I think he does get there. Takes 1.0. And then let's see here. For All-Star in 2000... You know what would have been a fun theme game I could have played is like, just get the most wins. In which case, no Larry Walker. But I, I would probably... Actually, does here's here's a fun one because I I think I've seen this before. This was on that Fox grid. Does Cy Young work for Cy Young two hundred wins? I'm gonna try that on the uh, incognito mode because um, that'd be pretty funny if he worked for two hundred. In any event, he'd work up here. Um, you can get Walter Walter Johnson here. That's the top two guys. Yeah, so that that would have been a fun game. I'll probably play that a little bit later. Uh, let's see, All Star two thousand strikeouts. Um, 
Let's find out if Frank Tanana ever made an All Star game because I'm very sure he has over two two thousand strikeouts. Twenty one years, be one of the better people to never make an All Star game. But indeed, he did. He goes sub one. Interesting cast of characters here. But yeah, I think I'm going to replay this and try to get the most total number of wins I can get that I can squeeze out. Um, Because your top top ones will be you get Cy Young, you get Walter Johnson. Um, Then you start to, if you get into the Cy Young era, that's where you probably use Warren Spawn. Or maybe use him down here, All-Star era rather. Um. Yeah, you probably do have to work in Maddox and Clemens and Steve Carlton and stuff. But okay, well, fun game once again. Um, thanks a lot for playing, and uh, have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.